called Sound Smart Volume Control Plus. Um, it's $3.99, so there's no ads. You don't worry, have to worry about blocking any ads. But it's $3.99, and it looks like it's actually pretty worth it. Um, this is a dense app, and considering that I just installed it this morning, I haven't had a chance to totally configure it and play with it, so we're kind of learning together. I'm going to tell you more what it does than show you because uh, also it has to do with volume. But basically the concept is, is that um, this gives you total control over your volumes on your device. So here on, on the volumes tab, you see that I've got – um, now this is a, this is a tablet, so I don't, it's not a phone. But I've got the Ringer, I've got notifications, I've got my media, I've got alarms, I've got the system audio, and I've got in-call audio. So if I had this installed on my phone, as the camera is moving around, if I had this installed on my phone, um, I would be able to have a different setting for media going to my ears than I would for phone calls, going for alarms, etc. It's that granular level, but it doesn't just stop there because I know you can already do that in other mm -hmm. apps and in the settings. But in here, then, what you can do is you can set up various profiles, all right? Um, you can – and we've, we've done this a lot before. You know you're going to be at school from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., so turn off your, your ringer or turn off music or anything like that. We've already seen that. Okay, understood. Now this is where it gets really, really cool. Um, there is a headphones mode that it will detect when you plug in your headphones, and if your headphones get yanked out, it will immediately mute the audio channels of your choice. So if you're like me and you commute via public transportation and your headphones get snagged in somebody's bag when they walk off the muni train and then all of a sudden everyone in the car hears your music, that can be kind of embarrassing. Now with this app, the moment your headphones get pulled out, it will mute everything that I've indicated for it to mute. It will also adjust the audio levels d based on whether I have headphones in or whether I'm using speakers. So let's say you want the headphones turned you know, all the way up, but you want the speakers turned down, et cetera. It gives that smart kind of control over it. Now, remember, Gina, earlier in the show when I teased – uh, when you were talking about it would be cool if Google Glass could detect whether you're in the car or not. Mm -hmm. There's actually a speed volume mode on here that will detect your speed and oh, then nice. adjust your volume accordingly, which, honestly, as a commuter who rides BART, when the BART leaves San Francisco and heads towards Oakland, it speeds up and gets really super loud, and I always turn up the volume on, on whatever I'm listening to because I can't hear it over the sound noise. So what you can do with this app is you can – set a range and say, you know, if I'm going 40 miles or higher, turn the ringer up or turn the media up or turn, you know, turn the system volume up or whatever. Um, and you're able to control it based on speed, which Very just cool. blows my mind and kind of it goes right into what we were talking about glass, where if this app can detect your speed, then why can't glass? And I'm curious how they're using the, the speed detection, whether it's via the network and GPS or via the accelerometer or whatnot. But it can do it, and so that's really kind of cool. Um, well, try it, try it on the Nexus Seven, right? Which does isn't connected to the GPS. Yes, that's you know a good point. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see if that. Yeah, it's a good point. So when you go back to the profile screen, when I'm setting up all my various profiles, I can set a speed volume, I can set set headphones mode, and you can much like Tasker, you can granularly control your level of audio um, coming out of your device. Um, of course, you can also uh, based on whether it's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or mobile data. Um, you can also adjust screen brightness through this, um, and you can also adjust your um, various call forwarding. Um, you can indicate it to raise the volume for individual contacts. So, for example, um, I can have it when my mother calls, have it turn the volume all the way down. That's a handy. <laughs> that's a handy device. No, I'm kidding. I'll, I'll turn it up. Um, I love my mother. Um, and it's also got an immense variety of widgets here. So here's kind of a, a four by one widget that gives you brightness control, system volume control, media control, alarm control, and you tap on one and it gives you a little easy slider to change it. Um, down here, you can see this gives you a little more control over the buttons as well as over the, the various profiles. Um, there's a bunch, bunch of uh, presets already set for speed. So you can have one for being on the bus or on the highway or running or on the uh, subway or on a tram. So people on Disney can control their volume on the trams. Um, so, uh, you know, it's it's just really, really interesting in terms of the the power of what it can do in terms of controlling your audio. Um, I was really, really impressed by it. Really good interface. Um, it's one of those unique kind of app, uh, custom app kind of interfaces. It's not using Holo. It's using their own kind of design. But um, it's only got like 1,000 to 5,000 downloads in the in the Play Store. And I, would, I thought this would be like way super higher. Um, so Smart Volume Control Plus, if you really want... Um, uh, really granular, granular control over your audio on your device. This is the way to go. So, there you go. Three ninety nine worth every penny. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I showed off uh, one a couple of weeks ago 
um, that yeah. looks a lot like it, but it's yes. like a piece of it. Well, that's why I, when I saw that, when I, and I was like, oh man, and I actually went to the wiki to see if we had covered this app before. Right. <laughs> so here, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But so it's... you can see. Yeah. There you go. See how closely designed those are? Yeah. yeah. Now, when you hit that, does it pop up a... It gives me a slider. A... Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. So kind of same deal. Yep. Awesome. So. Great. But it gives you a lot more kind of programmable yeah. And controls. just so you know, if you're if you're blinking at the price range, there is a smart volume control light that is free that you can check out and play with it. Um, mm -hmm. But guaranteed, you'll at four bucks, it's, it's a no-brainer. So Yeah. Cool. All right. Smart volume control plus. All right.